They have the facial nerve. A uh, facial nerve has a small sensory root and a large motor root that will cross the internal acissimiatus with the um, vestibulocochlear nerve. Uh, this nerve will go down and will form the geniculate ganglion that will give away, will give away the greater petrosal nerve, parasympathetic to uh, from the uh, facial nerve. Then after that, it will give away the strapidus nerve, which is uh, for the strapidus muscle in the inner ear, I mean in the middle ear for the stapes muscle. Then we'll have the cora tympani. Cora tympani will go through the pitrotympanic fissure and will join the lingual nerve to innervate the um, two-thirds anterior tongue and also parasympathetic to the sublingual submandibular sum salivary glands. Then we'll go the sensory auricular nerve that it will innervate some skin of the external acissimiatus and external ear. Then after that we'll cross the stylomastoid foramen. It will give this posterior nuclear nerve that is also motor to the occipital, the occipital valley of the occipitofrontalis. And then we'll give the parotid cutaneous branches of the facial nerve. So it's five of them. We have temporal, zygomatic, vocal, marginal mandibular, and cervical. The temporal branches will supply the occipitofrontalis, orbicularis, or oculi, corrugator supercilii. The zygomatic branches will innervate the ocularis oculi. The buccal branches will innervate the face between ocular, ocularis oculi or a fissure, zygomatic minor and major, procerus nasalis, levator lavis superioris alacoe nasi, levator lavis superioris, levator angularis oris, vaccinator, and ovicularis oris. The marginal mandibular will innervate the risorius, the depressor angularis oris, depressor, uh, depressor inferioris, and mental. And finally, cervical will innervate the platysma muscle. Then after that, we'll have two small branches for the posterior digastric muscle and the stylohyoid muscle. Sometimes they arise as a common branch.